Old man Woody likes the crooked cock. A guy to make that stuff go faster and doesn't have any sense of social shame. <laughs> you, got, you got me. Oh, Taylor. Can I hire you to sit in a circle for three days? Sit in a what? I'm sorry? Sit in a circle for three days. That's a, it's a, a, not an uncommon Mr. Beast video. Well, he'll draw like a circle on the ground, maybe paint it in the grass. And then last one to leave that circle gets the car or something. Yeah, gets or the gets prize. Tangled. Oh, that sounds like fun. Oh, it, it's it kind of like, like that a hands way. on a hard body challenge. Uh, know? yeah, yeah. But it, 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 it it's brutal. It's hard to win. Uh, at the yep. end of it, even the winner's only moderately happy. <laughs> you know, <Yeah. laughs> it's, it's, they don't, they, they play hard. And uh, my favorite, oh, the dynamic is, I, I'm sorry, I don't know the people's names, but his dad is like giving him shit for not being tough enough. Help, yeah. me. <laughs> Help me, who are the Chandler, players I'm talking yeah. about? Chandler's literally yes. probably lost, all right, this is just a random number, but like a million dollars in challenges because he just could not win any of them. And his dad's like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, <laughs> just win one. They'd get his dad on the phone and be like, Toughen up Chandler, would you? You know, and he'll give him like a pep talk. Still can't win. So his dad goes in there and he's like, I'm going to win the prize. His dad sounds a little like Ali. I'm going to win the prize myself. And uh, he didn't. Not in the video yeah. I saw. But See, I, like all you have to do I, I is hang it. out in the circle. And then when you need to pee, pee on the other participants. <laughs> that is sabotage. They have a strict no sabotage. Oh, that's not allowed. Oh, well, then I would be out quick. But they didn't have a no teaming rule. So it was like, Taylor... I'll pay you five grand to leave if you give me that heated blanket. And you'll be yeah. like, oh, you know, should I try and win 10 grand or take my five? And now I get a heated, you know, it's, it's fun. It's interesting. It's actually funny. Um, earlier today, we wrapped up a challenge, which will probably be out when this goes up. Last to leave, pool of money keeps it. And we just filled a pool of money. And a swimming leave, pool of yeah. money? How much? Yeah, I mean, it's not like swimming. Like, it's more of a hot tub, but. Okay. Like, Listen, like the thumbnail the thumbnail will show a really big pool, but in reality, <laughs> yeah. it's, <not> <laughs> yeah. it's bring, just a kiddie pool. You yeah, know? <laughs> and then the video opens with them bringing it back from Walmart. Yeah, it's a hot tub. It's funny. Um, How much money does it take to fill a hot tub? Well, and, and I show in the video, so it's not like I try to hide things. But right. I mean, we had to put like crumbled up paper on the bottom and then layer the money on top of it because obviously it wasn't enough. Ah, uh, yeah, because I, 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 not yet. I would have a hard time estimating how much money a hot tub holds, even in singles. Mm -hmm. I don't know, because like I said, we only did like the top third of it with money. How much was it? Tell me. I keep asking. Oh, oh, okay, twenty thousand dollars. Okay, okay. Is it all yeah. singles? Yeah. I'm forcing someone with twenty thousand dollars in singles. That's funny, dude. Like that's that. not even bad. Was it Chandler's father? You gave the pennies to? Am I right about that? Yes, yeah, so we filled his backyard with pennies and then took Chandler and his dad to find new cars. Yeah, but you don't understand, not old Mr. B, to Taylor, how many pennies this takes to fill a yard. Like, it's outrageous. Yeah, we've spoken about that specific... <laughs> oh, did we? I don't know if it's a prank or <laughs> what, what is it, like, as far as qualifying. It's because it's, it clearly, it's the kind of prank I would want to be pulled on me where it's like, ha-ha, I dropped a bunch of legal tender in your backyard. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm like, oh, no. I'm going well, to go to the back. I, would, I like to try to do is, like, another way to keep the content fresh and stay, you know, above average, I guess is a nice way to put it. But is to almost make it where, like, people, like, we uh that meteor on the car video like putting mm -hmm. meteors on my friend's car in and of itself is like a video a youtuber would do and then afterwards we took them to go buy new cars which in and of itself is a video a youtuber would normally do and while we're putting meteors on their car my friends had one hour to spend ten thousand dollars uh you know to keep them distracted which is also a video they would do so it's almost like a lot of our videos are literally like three for other youtubers will literally be three individual videos and all three individual videos for them would involve way less money and way less effort. And we take them all and combine them and kind of do things like that as well. So I just think right now it's just so far out ahead of a lot of other people. You really, I, I don't know, or I, I, I'm learning more now, but I didn't know anything about your content. But now that I'm hearing about it, like I got to watch some of your videos. Like this, <laughs> this is some funny fucking shit. Maybe that's not what I'm supposed to be taking away from it. <laughs> that's, it's, that it's just like, it, it is entertaining and fun. Like watching a car get crushed by a rock. That's great. Different That's, people might like different parts of the video. For me, it's about the human interaction, you know, and, and the money is just 
the, the, the catalyst, the spark that makes the humans interact. And, and that human interaction can be like struggling to stay in the water. Apparently staying in the water for a long time is awful. They start freezing and... Um, Your you know, fingers start like... Yeah. You, you think you've had... What do you call the Pringled Fingers thing? Is there a name for that? Know. I try to spend 24 hours in water and they don't you know, really that. Grease up oh, pruny the, fingers. Pr- pruny yeah. is what I'm going for. Yeah, you think you've maybe had or seen pruny fingers before, but you haven't done a 24-hour underwater challenge. There's another level to that. And yeah. uh, Mr. Beast did it, and I think he got like a kind of seasick. You know, yeah, that's he, what I was going to bring up. Because I, yeah, so like 12 hours in, I was getting symptoms of carbon dioxide poisoning. I was like, oh, fuck. Because yes, I really wanted to That's what it. I was saying. It's a horrible. You, know, you need a doctor. <laughs> But we wait, had an no. pumping air in, so Just I was get told, a doctor. Just have a doctor there, please. <laughs> well, we were getting a medical like, we, specialist. We consult experts. Like I'm not like an immature yeah. idiot. And experts are like, yeah, as long as you have something pumping. Give fresh me some air credit for googling Quib. <laughs> 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 Those experts sitting there just like, yeah, that'll that'll probably work. Just <laughs> <laughs> go on no, Craigslist. Why didn't a why, pool specialist? Chill. Why didn't the air pump work? <laughs> So, so well, let me just lay this out. He's in a swimming pool, right? The kind that might be in a backyard. If I remember right, he's under like a large Tupperware thing, the kind you might store your winter clothes in. They somehow have that underwater with an air pump that in theory would bring in fresh air. So he's not supposed to get carbon dioxide poisoning because the thing is pumping in air from mm-hmm. outside. Why wouldn't that work? I think because the carbon dioxide sits at the top is what we piece together afterwards. I don't know, honestly. So maybe there wasn't enough circulation in the Tupperware. Well, maybe, yeah. maybe it's the, the specific airflow, right? It could, it, I could be all that. I don't know. I was really depressed at that time because I wanted to do the twenty-four hour challenge, and I was like, but I like almost threw up right after I got out. And oh yeah, really dude, that's it's real. All of it's real. I'm not saying any of it, but like, yeah. The fact that it's real is what makes it interesting. And that's actually something I've wondered, like, how are you going to keep up that level of suffering? I, I was talking about it earlier in terms of money. Like, you know, you might have liked to count to $100,000 for 500 bucks in, you know, uh, ad word revenue or whatever. But now you probably don't like that deal, right? Now it takes well, a little more to get you out of bed. I don't want to let you go too deep on a tangent because suffering isn't <laughs> everything on this channel. Like, it's not. It's like yeah so that's why i like to keep the content diverse because i did i've cycled through so many phases and like soon there'll probably be a time where nothing like we'll never do another long challenge like that again like it's just about staying fresh innovating adapting and always you know finding the new trend like i did i donated twitch streamers and i did 10 of those and like every one of them got over 10 million views and then we've done a bunch of last to leave challenges those have all gone over 10 million views. I've done lots of money giveaway ch- videos that have gone over 10 million views. I've done lots of 24 hour challenges. Like, it's just like do something. And then once it starts to get a little old, just stop and do the next thing. You know what I mean? That's innovative. Hmm. It's kind of the mindset. So, like, I'm, I'm not worried about that. I'm curious. Like, do you, is, is pretty much all of your content from someone who doesn't know much about it, like mm-hmm. the event driven, or do you spend, time talking about like the movies the tv shows the kind of stuff you like to watch like any of your personality put into it um, no it's it's more about like this what's going on in the video because like the okay. biggest thing is um like that type of stuff just doesn't appeal to as many people and like like i've said like i i want to make lots of money so i can give lots of money away I, that's just kind of what i want to do and so I got to appeal to a wide audience so I can make as much as possible so but, I can yeah, do a lot. That, that's it's, totally fair. Like, but I, but you have a large enough following. I guarantee people are interested in like your personal life and things like that. Like a, the kind of, not even like super hmm. personal life, just stuff like, like for example, like what are, what are your go-to TV shows? Like you probably uh, never Well, anime, that. like we were talking about before. <laughs> oh, anime. <laughs> yeah. It, if I were to answer to you, it, his videos are event driven. But that's just like the surface of it. Afterwards, you sort of get to know the cast of characters and their little storylines. And uh, well, of course, you have to be charismatic, obviously, to get that. any kind of thing like this off the ground. It's a different kind of charismatic. Like, I don't, no one on the show is a really slick talker that I'm thinking of anyway. Uh, mm. You know, but they're all genuine and there's a certain charisma in that. 
So well, and that's what exactly how I want to keep it, just real and just kind of like we're normal people. Like I'm not get like you know I will a lot of YouTubers LA they get lots of acting lessons. They have PR coaches. They have all this stuff. Like I'm in fucking North Carolina. Like I just make videos. I don't know what I'm doing. You know. Like, and I want to stay like that. I just want to be like a normal person, you know? No, that, that totally makes sense. Do you have any, like when you're not making your videos, what are your hobbies? Like what are the like, rock climbing? Is there something you really enjoy mm-hmm. when you're not um, focused ooh. on this philanthropic endeavor so much? Yeah, uh, it, it kind of just depends. Obviously, me and the boys play a lot of basketball and I love baseball. Um, but what, what else really is there? I don't know. Who, like, Who's your baseball team? No, I don't watch baseball. Fuck that. But I love you just baseball. like playing. Okay. Yeah. Um, a lot of it, though, it's hard to put into words, but like a lot of these things, like spending 24 hours in the desert and stuff like that, like those kind of are like hobbies. It's just like fun. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I ended on that note. I love the that word. That was the play. best shit I've ever heard. <laughs>